What's up StarCraft fans, today I'm showing off this cool new thing called the StarCraft 2 overlay. On the left you can see my regular stats, kills, production, harvesting, parts collected, and commander specific stats. But on the right, you can see additional stats in the form of an overlay. You can see that I had 79% of the total kills as compared to my ally, and you can see my APM, the time it took, whether we won or lost, the enemy composition, my masteries, my allies' masteries, and for each unit, or the top 5 at least, how many did each unit kill, how many of each unit did we create, and how many of each unit did we lose. That goes a little for my ally. And Amon. So you can see that uh, with Skytoss, Amon had the most kills with his Oracles, and with his Colossus, and then the Mobius Hybrid. So let's go into more detail into what this co-op overlay exactly is. So we are on the GitHub page of the StarCraft 2 co-op overlay. This was made by Fluffy Maguro, who uh, did all the work on his own. So StarCraft 2 Co-op Overlay, this app looks for recent replays from StarCraft 2 Co-op, parses them, and shows information as overlay on screen. Or it can be added as another layer in OBS or other streaming software applications. The overlay is fully customizable through a simple editing of the file. It can be changed, new functions or elements can be added to the visible overlay. You can see here we have another example of uh, Maguro's stats compared to his ally. You can see pretty much the same stats here. So what we'll do now is show you guys how to download it. So click this link to go to the download page. This is what I use most frequently. So we just go to this one. Click download and wait for it to download. Upon finishing the download, open the zip file. I like to personally extract all the files to a separate folder in my hard drive. So yeah, let's wait for that to unzip. And you can see that we have here a layouts folder, a readme, the file itself, and the configuration file. So now I want to note that as of right now, at this state, you can actually run the co-op overlay and it will work just fine. So to run it, just double click it and wait for the, uh, the uh, notification down below. Actually in the lower right corner, let's uh, zoom in on it so you guys can see. It will show us uh, a pop-up as soon as the overlay, there we go, starts running. You can see that uh, there is indeed the, uh, the information and as well as hotkeys. So now let's see what it looks like in-game. Alright, so we finished with the game here. Let's see the score screen and see if the overlay works. You can see that, yeah, you can see the stats. It, for Zertool, there is a special stat here as in the previous game. Where for Zertool, you can see the number of... Uh, that's what I said produced for my ally. You can see that he had 20 mules dropped and he was pre-mastery, so this uh, result is kind of uh, kind of expected. And you can see uh, the masteries, the kills per unit. You can see my, my Tesseract Cannons had 927 kills, that's pretty good. Shield Guard with uh, 457, which makes them, I guess, uh, slightly less efficient than the Tesseract Cannons. Zertul himself had 393 all on his lonesome. That's uh, really good. So yeah. My issues with this uh, with this current layout is that uh, I prefer to be green. Blue is nice, but green is the best color. And uh, my ally should be yellow because that's the color that matches what we actually see in game. So I think that's more fitting. For Amon, red is good, but uh, it's a little too sharp for me. I'd like to I'd like the red to be a little a little uh, less sharp. So now let's see how we can change that color layout to be uh, a bit more pleasing to me. We are back here in the folder. Again, if you like the colors as they are, it's, it's perfectly fine. This is for people who want to change how the colors look. So how to do that, I will first right click this config file, open with, and notepad. And then bring that up here. Let's zoom in to make it uh, easier to see. So you can see here that uh, for the jury, you can see here uh, various uh, information. So duration is number of seconds that the Information will initially display. For me, I like to have that as 2 minutes, 120 seconds, that's fine. Key show is the hotkey that you will press if you want to show the overlay. And the same hotkey will be pressed if you want to hide the overlays. It's basically toggle, show, and hide for the uh, overlay. For me, I like to have this control E. It's, it's fine. Newer and older are if you want to scroll through replays. Uh, newer and older. So you can actually... Look through the same uh, look through the same kind of stats if you want to go through your uh, previous games. So 
alt slash and alt asterisk are default. I won't change them for now because I like them as they are. But if you want to change them, here's where here's where you will uh, change. For example, if you want this alt A or something, this is how you do it. Yeah, let's put that back there. So these next four are simply color codes. This is how you assign the color to the left player or P1 color. P2 color is your allies color. Amon color is the enemy's color. And mastery color is the color of the masteries that will display uh, below the names. So these next two are just uh, information you want to add there in case you want to upload your replays to almasterstarcraft2coop.com. Player names will look will make the overlay look for the name to display as player one. For me, I like to have that CTG. Just make the overlay look for me as player one. Show overlay. Uh, I just have this true to make to make the uh, overlay show. Yeah. Login. I have this false because I do want to tinker with stuff. I don't really know. Now these color codes here are in the hexadecimal format. That means uh, each color is divided into three components of red, green and blue. We can go into more detail about how to assign hexadecimal colors or we can just make our lives easier and just google hex color picker here. Just uh, select the color you want, for example if you want green, just pick the shade, brightness, if you want blue, do the same, and have the hex code literally down here just to copy and paste that here at your leisure. Again, just google hex color picker, select the color you want, copy the code, paste it here. Again, P1 color is player 1's color, or your color if you have your name here. P2 color is your ally's color. Amon color is the enemy's color. And mastery color is the color of the masteries that will display below the player names. As for myself, I like to have these colors a little bit of a palish green color for myself. A little yellow for my ally. Actually, this is the most default yellow you can probably find. Uh, Amon color, I, I have the same red, but it's a little, uh, it's a little less sharp. By, by adding a few more values in the green and blue sections of the colors. Anyway, once you've finished assigning everything that you want, click File, then Save or Control S. So now that we've configured how we want our overlay to look, let's actually show you guys how to uh, show that on your OBS. To do that, open your OBS, of course, and then what you want to do is go back to your co-op overlay folder Double click layout to go there and you will see here a bunch of options. So what you want to do is click and drag this layout file here. It says layout, but for me I have it as a Google Chrome icon because I open my stuff in Google Chrome. Now I click this and drag this to sources. So it will create a layout here. You can see actually you see that it just uh, creates a uh, layout there. So what I want to do is uh, just rename this. Yeah, rename that into how, for example, overlay. Overally, <laughs> overally, overlay thingy. Yeah, that works, and now you're fine. Now, what you want to do is just open that if you want to configure it, and uh, what you want to do is just change the width and height to your screen resolution if necessary. What you want to do is change this to yeah. For in, in my case, it's 1440p. If you have 1080p, it's 1980 by 1920 by 1080p. I think yeah, 1920 by 1080p. And click OK, and you're done. Now, uh, with the overlay fixed and set up in our OBS, let's uh, open once again the overlay. Again, by going to the folder, double clicking SEO, wait for it to come up. Again, just in the lower, lower right, wait for it to come up. Oh, zoom in here, yeah, zoom in here. There we go, you can see now that the uh, that the hotkeys have changed for me and uh, yeah, OBS or the co-op overlay is now running. To check that it's running, click this arrow here in the bottom right of your screen and you can see you can right click this M here which shows that it is running. If you want to go back to the GitHub page, just click this. If you want to configure, just click this. If you want to see if you're up to date, just click or just mouse over here if it shows you or if there are new updates available, it will show you that there is and if you want to exit, just press quit. Now let's see how it looks like in a game. Right, we we're just about to finish up with a game. Let's see the score screen to see whether the overlay works as intended. You can see that I had about 70% of the kills and I had about 30%. I mean, for 47 8 p.m., 
to 123 APM, it's not bad. I had about, you can see the stats I have here for Omega. I can see I made 49 Omega Worms. And uh, Kerrigan, despite me having a maxed out Hydrosk army, Kerrigan had 690 kills. It really goes to show you that Kerrigan's a one woman army for her army. <laughs> for my ally, Reapers had the most kills, and then followed by top bars, and Hellbots, and Hellions, and then Battlecruisers. Interesting. For Amon, he had about uh, 28 kills from 974 Zerglings. That's value for Amon. Mutalisk, you can see he had 18 kills for 181. Okay, that's that's not as bad as Zergling. But it's, it costs gas though, but anyway. Yeah, Hyper Destroyer is next. He had 9 kills. Man, no units of Amon were at all efficient for for him. You can see my ally and I, yeah, all of us had way more kills, had a, had a, have a very high kill to death ratio compared to Amon. My worst one is Hydrolisk. I lost, I lost 64, but hey, they're Hydrolisks. What can you expect? All right. So again, I will have all the links down below. If you want to download this, if you want to uh, set it up in your OBS, I sh you should just uh, yeah follow the instructions here and that should work out just fine. If you have any questions about the overlay, uh, just uh, post them down below and Maguro will get to them. If not, I will forward these to him and answer them uh, as soon as I can. Alright, see you.